Hi Capricorns. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to finish off Earth Signs with my beautiful Capricorns. Happy October. Goodbye Mercury Retrograde. It is stationary right now, but it will start moving forward slowly this week. But I already feel like there's been a veil lifted. This is good for all placements for the sign of Capricorns, Sun, Rise, and Moon, and Venus. It will not resonate with everyone. I always ask for the strongest messages. I'm going to get some cards right now with the Osha Zen Tarot cards for the strongest energies around you. I'll be looking at your recent past, the crossing energies if you've been dealing with someone. If you don't care to know, there'll be a timestamp in the description box and what's coming in. Let me get started right now, my beautiful Capricorns. Hello, October. Just want to put a real quick note out there that if you do get contacted by me to reach out to me it is not me i got spammed twice last week so i'm just letting you know it's not me all right let's look spirit guides strongest energies around the sign of capricorns this reading is for show me the cards for the beautiful sign of capricorns thank you Show me the cards I need to see for the strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns. Anything else? Nope. <clears throat> nope. They just gave me one big... Okay. One big blob. Underneath the... Uh, see, I'm just looking at the cards. I am a cat moon, so I just want to see where we're going here. Uh, right now around you, I have going with the flow. <laughs> Sounds about right. Going with the flow. Just sitting on top of your body of emotion and just waiting for things to move. Just going with the flow right now. If you're not feeling that, you will be. I have ripeness because something is about to come into fruition for you. It's like it's almost like this energy right now around you that I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right because underneath that I have new vision. Mm -hmm. Right now around you is you're having this vision of awareness of something that you want to come into fruition. And you're sitting on top of your, your water. You're just like, I'm just going to paddle with this. I'm going to be all right. I'm going with the flow. Because the first card to my left is transformation. Well, here you come out of that uh, dark cloak of any type of disappointment you've had. Wow, they give you a lot of cards. Uh, you guys, I can't make this up. I have breakthrough. I'm telling you, I feel these energies today when I woke up. I was so excited to do this reading today for you. Um, new vision with breakthrough. I want you to look at... You guys, I want you to look at all this light. And that's what I always look at. I always look at the energies in the card to see what I feel. It's like, finally, the curtain has been lifted. You know, you're, if you're not feeling it today, you're going to be feeling it by tomorrow. I have moment to moment and tuning in. Wow, these are beautiful. It's like all of a sudden you have this energy around you that I'm going to just be all right. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to tune in. I'm going to feel whole again. And the last card they gave me is, you're going to feel whole again right now. You're flowering. That is magnificent, Capricorns. I feel that right now you're just coming into this place of peace, you know, and I can't wait to see your incoming energies. I just cannot wait, but I'm going to look at your recent past. Right or wait, I hear. If uh, Nine of Wands is something that has wounded you, but if you are not dealing, oh, I was let's not go there yet. <laughs> It's going to do crossing energies. I'm like, whoa. Recent past, please, spirit guides. Recent past. This is going to lead me right into all this beautiful energy that's around you right now. Because this Mercury retrograde that we went through in September, I felt emotionally like I was in a kaleidoscope. Like, what's going on here? You know, it's a whirlwind of just different colors, different feelings every day, in and out. Recent past. One more shuffle. For my beautiful Capricorns. Please show me what I need to see. Recent past. Thank you. What would you like to show me, Spirit? Thank you. Recent past for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me? A little bit about the recent past for the sign of Capricorns. Anything else? Or is that Nine of Wands? Wow. Huh. All right. Underneath the deck is I do have the King of Earth, the King of Pentacles. That's the Taurus energy. 
Eight of Wands. I feel like you've been waiting for something to come towards you and it has to do with stability, finances, being a success, um, succeeding at something. I have the Empress. You've been very patient. I feel that you've been, uh, recently in the past, you felt like I'm gonna harvest something here. Something is going to come into fruition. But I do feel some kind of blocks. I'm gonna stop there. Cause I got some cards on my lap. I have the King of Swords. Well, uh, this is air energy. It's the King of Air, meaning that this is something that you were very firm about with no emotion. And it has to do with your integrity, your honesty. I have the Chariot, that's Cancerian energy, but that's about hauling ass towards something with no emotion. It's like recently in the past, you were very firm on standing up for something and you were determined to go after it. I mean, you're using your intuition I have the Four of Cups. Well, love was not in the equation. Love recently has not been in the equation for you. This is a card of not offering or giving love. I feel that you are more focused on something to do with your stability, your foundation, your, you being a success at something. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles because you, were start, you wanted to feel whole. This is a card of mastery, self-mastery. This is something I feel that you just wanted to feel whole. Love was not in the equation recently in the past. I mean, I think you just, you put it on ice. That's what I feel. You're more determined to go after something that was going to create success. You were just determined to do something or you had a Taurus fly in, I don't know. Or you were hoping that a Taurus was gonna fly in. I do have the uh, Eight of Swords, but I just wanna say one thing. With the King of Steel here, that is very firm energy meaning that the, the king doesn't sway you know it's the king of steel and recently in the past you were standing up for something because i had eight of swords sideways and then here's that nine of wands and it flipped out sideways that was underneath the deck what am i feeling here capricorns you didn't want to get caught up in your head about anything you felt you had to protect yourself from that's what i feel you just like, you were very firm about something. A few cards left. I have an Ace of Cups sideways. I do feel recently in the past that you were holding back from love. I think that your stability, feeling whole again was more important to you than anything. And I have it with the lovers. This is destiny. That's coming into your current energies. This is something that you're gonna be reconnected with again could be a person, a part of yourself. This is a card of duality, but this is coming into your current energies. I have new vision, you know, and I just feel like this is something that you're finally having enlightenment about, you know, um, it's like a breakthrough. I mean, being connected to a part of yourself again, it should be around you right now if you feel this, but it has something to do with duality about yourself and other people and things that have been part of your destiny. It's like the curtain has been pulled back for you. And it may have to do with you balancing your heart and your mind. Because then I have the Ten of Pentacles, meaning that that is about your ultimate stability, your ultimate money. I'm going to take two more cards. And I just feel that coming into your current energies, you just started coming into this energy of I can do, I, I'm balancing this. Because what you want is the curtain has just been pulled back. You're going with the flow and there's something around you that's ready to be picked. I think it's something you really want. Because then I have the Hierophant with the world. Yeah, that's all I need to see. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, but that is the major arcana. About committed to something of a higher level. It could be with yourself. It could be with someone else. It could be with the job because I have it with the world. Recently coming into your current energies, as you know, you're about to start a new cycle. You're having a breakthrough. You got transformation. I have flowering. I have turning in, tuning in, you know, and I have it moment to moment with going with the flow. Wow. Right now, I need a lot of light, finally balancing everything. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm going to look at the uh, crossing energies. If you are not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming energies. I'm gonna do the light series mini today. I haven't used these in a while. I have the hanging man. It's Pisces energy, but let's just see. I never know who's under these decks, you guys. If you don't know, if you've never viewed me, I shuffle and put them down and go by how I feel. Just 
I get drawn to certain decks. Spirit guides. I hear like a yes. <laughs> crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. Show me the uh, crossing energies Capricorns have been dealing with. Oh, got the star. Crossing energies. Thank you for the sign of Capricorns. All right. What else? Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. Well, they got quite a bit to say. On the ground to my right is the Ten... Oh, I got two cards. The Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords. Well, whoever you've been dealing with is starting to have a new truth, a new clarity about what, it, what really has brought them a lot of happiness. What is going to bring them a lot of happiness? I think it's my Capricorns. Let's take a look, though. I do have uh, the Seven of Wands. This is someone who is in a protection mode of a bubble, meaning... We just had this Mercury retrograde and it has done a lot of turning things back at us to make us have reflections of things about us and situations. That Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, well, they've had a lot of, they've had a lot of truths lately and they've put themselves in a bubble because I see the Seven of Wands and they're just, the Seven of Wands, the way I'm looking at it is looking at that Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. It's just looking. But they put themselves in a bubble. They meaning they weren't going after anything and they weren't allowing anything to come towards them. I have the Wheel of Fortune sideways, a lot of sideway cards. I have the Queen of Swords sideways, Libra, and here comes the Queen of Wands sideways. Wheel of Fortune is this person has been on the fence about being open and honest with you because they want something between something here to change and that's what I feel and this is what I do it's by how I go I know what these cards mean and the queen of wands here they're all sideways is meaning this is someone who has been very indecisive about what they want you know um that mercury retrograde messed everybody up here is the star big aquarius I'm an aquarius with the cat moon they've had a lot of hope oh boy that's a lot of hope they never gave up hope you know, faith and healing. I have the Empress in reverse. I have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. <laughs> they didn't want a passionate brand new opportunity. And I feel with the Empress in reverse, this is someone who has become unglued. And it has to do with something that they stopped nurturing. Something about this person has made them feel like they've become unglued. I, I can't even express how I feel right now. Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Well, the Knight of Swords is the Knight of Fast Forward Thinking and Communication. I have it with the Six of Wands. This is someone who wants to gloat about something. You know, they want to feel good about something. They want to feel as if something can come in for a victory for them. But I have I have the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is to me is um, very young Earth energy, but it's somebody who has been going or trying to achieve something in their life. But I just feel such scattered energy with the Empress in Reverse. Uh, um, they don't know what the heck they want. Uh, here comes the Queen of Cups. Wow, these. Queen of Cups sideways, Eight of Wands sideways, and the Nine of Swords sideways. Uh, like I said, they're having a hard time releasing something with love. They don't even know if they should be open to love. They're in a point in their life where they don't even know how to heal properly because it's a very hard thing to do. We have to forgive and be open to love and be open about it with 100% of understanding and gratitude for whatever we've had. But... They're not there yet. The Nine of Swords Sideways is someone who this still bothers them at night once in a while. Three of Pentacles. Why are so many sideway cards? Four of Swords and then Six of Pentacles Sideways. That Six of Pentacles is about someone who doesn't know if they'll ever receive from you. And they're taking a major time out. They're trying to, they're starting to come out of it actually. 
you know the four swords is a card about rest rejuvenate meditate heal but they're starting to come out of something here and i do believe they're having some new awakenings about what it is that once brought them a lot of happiness so if you haven't been into contact with somebody wait a few weeks um i think that somebody here has to reground themselves get rerouted before anything can start moving forward in their life because right now they're seeing all the truths about something that brought them a lot of happiness and with the star here is they're healing but they've put a bubble around themselves like they want to go through this place of healing themselves before they can get anything new started all right that'll shift in two weeks but let's look at what's coming in for you <laughs> while we're here i'm going to do the uh, let's do the psychic tarot i was going to do the mystical moments but psychic tarot it is i have firm foundation that is uh, a card of feeling as if your feet are rerouted into the ground feeling whole again i know i'm not going to take them all i have authority with partnerships and alliances triumph and patience interesting but let's do one good shuffle Incoming cards for the beautiful sign of Ma. Capricorns, please. Thank you. Show me the incoming energies for Capricorns. Thank you, Spirit Guides. What would you like to show me? Incoming energies next week or two weeks for my Capricorns. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Thank you about the incoming energies. Thank you for Capricorns. Underneath the deck is I do have obstacles and challenges. I have a partnerships and alliances and there's the authority card. You guys, I shuffled. The partnerships and alliances with the authority and then I have transformation. I do feel that something in your life is about to be shedded in a big way. This is something that is going to come together for you and I do feel that something or someone or a situation is finally coming into this place of stepping up to the plate and achieving it from whatever obstacles and challenges may be in front of you. Because right now you have a lot of ripeness around you. I mean, you have this light. I do have rest and rejuvenate. I have it with the sacred chakra. This is about you getting more rest about what is sacred to you. Wow, that's pulling something in. I have uh, material and spiritual prosperity. That's pulling something in. And I have it with, but choose wisely about what you want. Choose wisely about what you want to pull in. That's what I feel. You need to get uh, more rest, rejuvenate, meditate, and really focus on what it is that you want to pull in towards you because with all this energy around you right now it's almost like you're just this open box right that's what i feel but i'm gonna get some cards because that's what i like to do <laughs> i'll just do the light series for you today all right four swords rest and rejuvenate in the incoming energies trailer i have the king of swords this is the king of you looking above the clouds, standing in your chair of steel or sitting in your chair of steel, of staying true to something about what it is that is truly right with integrity. Because they want to tell you, you're going to pull in your wish. And that's what this whole reading is. Stay in your integrity about something. Uh, this is about you have what it takes to go around any obstacles and challenges. And something you're, you're pulling something in right now around you so i'm just letting you know but i'm going to do one more shuffle and see what comes out we had a trailer for you it's beautiful the king of swords and the nine of cups with what i see here something's coming together for you just got a few obstacles look above the clouds stay in your integrity take charge of what you want transformations in the house Bear guides, uh, incoming cards for the sign of Capricorns. What else would you like to show me? Thank you. Incoming cards right. for the sign of Capricorns. Anything else you'd like to show me? 
Incoming energies. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. I said, all right, because I saw some car. I just said, I just don't want a bunch of sideways. And I just heard, don't worry about it. And so, okay, because Ace of Pentacles is under the deck, Capricorns. A golden opportunity. A new solid offer. And underneath that, I have the Seven of Pentacles. Meaning that this is something that you really need to analyze. If you're going to put work into something, will it grow? Because then I have the Hermit. So that's very wise energy. And I saw the Choose Wisely card. It's right here. Uh, this is something that is coming in for you, Capricorns, that you have to decide, do I want to put work into this? Is this new solid golden opportunity really going to grow? I want you to really tap into something here because remember, you guys had, I felt you needed to get a, a thing going on about what it is that you want. And I didn't come in. Ten of Swords sideways. See, I asked for no sideways and I got a lot of sideways, but they said, don't worry about it because I see this card. This is something that is not completely over yet, meaning that no matter what you feel or what you've been through, the sun is still rising in the background because they want you to keep trudging forward the night of earth. Just keep moving forward. Just keep going after something you want, Capricorns. Don't give up. Right now you are ripe. You're, you're, you're manifesting something. Eight of Pentacles sideways and I have it with the lover's card, Gemini sideways. Once again, it's the same message. Putting a lot of work into something. On the fence about the things and people that are going to throw you out of balance. Um, you're going to have, you're just going to have all your answers. You just need some alone time because you're about to receive something. It's a new solid offer, Capricorns. I'm just letting you know. Got to choose wisely though. I have the two swords. <laughs> I have it with strength and courage. It's like the same, almost the same message over and over again. Oh. That just flipped around in reverse. So they want me to tell you, do not, do not lose strength and courage about something that you need to, you need to make a decision on, you know, do you want to take a right or do you want to take a left? No U-turns. All right. Cause I just see, I see movement choices and decisions. So in my head, anyway. I have an Ace of Cups and the last card they gave you couldn't be any better. I have the world, meaning that a new opportunity of love is coming in for you. It could be with yourself. It could be just feeling love again. It could be with a person. They want you to look at something here. You know, I have an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles. They really want you to look. I mean, they really want you to, to get some rest, rejuvenate, and really look at these two new opportunities coming in for you. Can you put work into it? Is it going to grow? They want you to choose wisely because I'm just going to let you know right now, Capricorns, you're about to start a whole bunch of new cycles. And when the world shows up, it's like whatever you've been through has come full circle. And now we roll into the fool after this, meaning that that's starting over taking a leap of faith with something, but this is a completion. You got two aces coming in, you know, um, keep trudging, go towards the ones that you know are going to be what you want. They want you to choose wisely and only put work into situations and people that are going to grow with you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get two cards though. <laughs> from my Archangel Power Tarot Guides, from my Spirit Guides to you. Spirit Guides. For Capricorns, two cards. Thank you. If you can tell Capricorns, two messages. Thank you. What would you like to tell Capricorns today? Uh, I, don't, I think I want to do one more. Thank you. I was going to say it's going to go to the right. I know. If that's, okay, I was going to say, if that's a 10 of REL, that's almost a weird thing because both other earth signs had that. No, you got the four. The four of REL. Angel REL. When you give, you also receive. You only put work into the things that are going to go with you. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. I think it's extremes in overgiving Capricorns. Then I have the Knight of Michael. 
Angel Michael. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. I'm telling you, I see the cards. I feel the energies. Choose wisely. Choose logic over emotion. I gave you the Ace of Raphael, and I have one card that flew to the right. A positive, remember, a positive, because I can feel the energies. It's positive. New emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. <sighs> I feel a sense of peace. Oh, I thought it was peace for a minute. <laughs> it's epiphany. It's close enough because peace is purple. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. It's everything I said in this, and this is what they want to tell you. You're about to have two new aces coming in. I got the world, meaning you're about to start some new cycles. Find your answers through quiet meditation because you have to choose wisely and only give to the people and things that are willing to give back to create beautiful partnerships and alliances. Thank you, Capricorns. I love you. You guys, if you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Leave a comment if you like. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful Capricorns for all your love and support. You guys, this is beautiful and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.